Good afternoon, my name is Noah Spence. I am presenting my analysis on To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. This book was published on July 11th, 1960. It won the Pulitzer Prize in 1960. Um, and it really deals with racism and inequality in the time of the Great Depression. Um, it's very fascinating to me that a book was written with this in focus a hundred years after um, slavery had ended um, and racism is still part of our society today. I'm going to be talking about this a little more, but we are still having, sp not speeches, um, protests regarding um, inequality, uh, regarding racism. Um, and this book really can emphasize the race issues in the time of the Great Depression, uh, in, as well as showing these important lessons to be learned while growing up. And that's why I specifically believe that this is a must read for many young people growing up in today's world. A little background on our author, Harper Lee. She was born on April 28th in 1926 um, in a small town in Alabama. She had only written two books uh, in the time she was alive and she still won the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And this is extremely important because it really shows how amazing and deep the meanings are behind her literature because she was able to win this really important and special award after only writing two books and one of them being this one of course an extremely best-selling book and uh, published in 1960 and is still being read today in many schools across the world Sadly, she passed away on um, February 19th, 2016, so she is no longer with us, but she left a lot for us to evaluate, and that's what we're doing. Um, so the book, in order to take, in order to understand the themes I'm going to be discussing, um, you need to understand the characters of the book and a little about the setting. So this book takes place 1933 to 1935 in Macomb, Alabama. The characters include Scout, Atticus, and Jim. There are many other characters, but these are the three I'm going to be focusing on, along with Boo Radley. Um, so Scout is the little girl in the book, and it's mainly told from her perspective. Um, Atticus is her father. He's a very smart man. He's a lawyer. And Jim is Scout's older brother, also Atticus's son. It is implied in the book that Atticus's, Atticus's wife had passed away, and they have a colored lady in her house that takes care of a lot of things for them. Okay. So I'm going to be evaluating eight of the themes within the book and discussing how important they are in regards to racial issues and in regards to today's world and why they might be important for younger kids to read. Starting off with the first theme. This one is a little shorter in depth, but it is definitely important still. So this is the theme of good versus evil. Jim and Scout start by thinking that most people are good-natured and good-hearted at first. Um, but they tend to find out as the book goes on that evil is a hidden characteristic buried within many people's personalities. Um, and both and people tend to have both of these characteristics. I believe that Lee puts this in the book to one, help us realize that everyone is human, um, everyone has a little evil within us, whether that could be one thing for another person and something else for another, um, and maybe just to be weary about people and maybe not always trust everything they're saying or just to be cautious, if that makes sense. 
Moving on to theme number two, which is ambition. Uh, ambition is found regarding Atticus. Um, according to dictionary.com, ambition is the earnest desire for some type of achievement. Um, and this is the achievement for Atticus would be to win the court case that he is part of. He's trying to win this court case for his black client who was allegedly raped a white woman. Um, he did not do this, but he was determined guilty solely on the fact that he was a black man and she was a white woman. And I'm going to be getting into this a little later, but he lost the respect of the town. Um, while in this court case, they were called names, other stuff. Um, and I believe that Lee includes this within the book to show us how important it is to fight for what we believe in. Atticus, of course, is not racist. He understands that everybody is the same and that even though this man is black, he did not do the crime. He should not be tried or he should not be determined guilty. According to Walsh, a source that I found within U.S. news, um, racism played a large role in society in the 1960s, especially in the South. With that being said, of course, it took um, Atticus a lot of courage to do what he did. The third theme within the book is education. There was an education like revolution going on in the 1960s. Um, a source from the a source called 1960s Education Overview says a revolution in education took place in the United States during the 1960s when this book was being um, based on. Um, Lee focuses on in this book the importance of at-home education and education within the schoolroom. There are benefits to both, and she really tries to portray that within the book so that many of the young readers can understand this and understand that while there are lessons to be learned at home, school learning is also extremely important. The fourth theme within the book is prejudice. Prejudice is, well, I'm According to dictionary.com, prejudice is defined as an unfavorable opinion being formed beforehand without knowledge, thought, or reason. And this is found within the court case again. He is determined guilty solely based on the fact that he is a black man. Um, and I believe that Lee includes this in the book to show how small decisions and small, seemingly small things um, can really affect someone's life forever. Just because the scholar, color of this man's skin was different than the other people determining if he was guilty or not, it still affects this man's life in a major way. And I believe that Lee was trying to point out issues in the justice system by including this. The fifth theme that I found within this book is social inequality. So this differs from racism. Um, throughout the entire book, they are talking about these different classes of people. Even the white family, um, who's focusing on Atticus, Jim, Scout, are talking about certain families that are above them, certain people that are below them, and then black people at the bottom, of course, and that's where it gets into racism, but re not regarding racism. The fact that there's different classes of people um, really shows that social inequality um, is present. Uh, I believe that Lee includes this in the book to show that this is not the way things should be, should be. Just because one person has more than another person doesn't mean they should be treated differently. And that is taught within the book through Scout's perspective. The sixth theme, um, which is the most profound, is racism. Uh, there was a lot of racism within this book. Um, 
and although slavery had ended a hundred years before this book was written, or based on, um, there was still a lot of things. Whites and blacks weren't allowed to like conjugate in person, like in public. And I wanted to find a source that proved that racism was still going on. And I found an amazing one. It was a letter by Roosevelt, Roosevelt's wife, um, the president back then. Let me find her name, Eleanor Roosevelt, to a man named Mr. White, the National Advancement of Colored People um, Executive Secretaries. And it was regarding lynching problems. Um, so again, this proves that racism, racism was a big problem then and Lee goes into that. I believe that Lee touches on these different things to um, show how they are not needed and um, how racism is vastly inappropriate. Many people might think that racism is over and I wanted to touch on this because there's been a lot of things regarding racism recently. Um, according to an article written by National Geographic, there were over a thousand protests regarding the George Floyd situation. And as much as racism was an issue then, racism is an issue now. And again, I believe that Lee included this in the book because she probably predicted that racism would not end and that many of the young readers reading this book need to understand how everyone is the same and there's no need for racism. The seventh theme within the book is perspective. According to a psychologist named, with the last name of Kim Bell, um, she states that the key factor to a successful relationship is the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Um, and this is obviously an important lesson to learn and it's found within the book regarding Boo Radley when they finally figure out that he is not a bad man and then Scout actually stands on his porch and pictures all of their activities through his eyes. So Lee wanted to emphasize that this is a really important lesson to learn along with the other ones. The eighth theme I wanted to discuss is the theme of bravery. Um, it's regarding the same situations I have brought up in the past um, but mainly regarding Atticus and um, he has to go against the society's beliefs and his town's beliefs by defending the black man and it took a lot of courage and bravery. Um, Ellen Moore with a PhD in psychology explains in an article she published on pbs.org that bravery is essential to young learning because without it it could limit their growth and limit how much they are able to stand up for what they believe in. So once again, we includes a theme that is believed by professionals to be essential for growing up. So that is all of our themes. Um, they include good versus evil, ambition, education, prejudice, social inequality, racism, perspective, and bravery. Uh, along with showing how important this is to read for young children and people in general. Uh, it's very intriguing how Harper Lee can tell all of these very important themes um, at the same time as telling a very intriguing story. Okay, well, thank you.